Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today's tutorial was inspired by last week's live stream where I made peacock pendants. I have a special hack on how to make a very lovely whimsical peacock feather. What you're going to need for this project is 22 gauge wire. I have various colors and you'll need your tools and also a six millimeter miracle bead. I'm starting with 10 pieces of 22 gauge wire and I'm going to start with four pieces. We're going to split them into two and two. These two are going to go over those two and I'm just going to take these ends and twist them. So we're going to go one, two, three and then I'm going to twist down these ends here. You can even use the pliers if you need them tighter. I'm going to take one wire and go straight up. This wire is going to go to one side and then these two to that side. I'll take another wire here and just bring it over to one side just a couple inches over on that side. We're going to line these two up so they're together, these are together, and we're going to twist them again. So these two we're going to twist together. We're going to go one, two, and you can do it a third time to make it more solid. Now this one, if it's loose, you're just going to wind it underneath that wire. And then we're going to put the long one straight up, get another wire, bring it over here, put these two together, and then we're going to twist again. One, two, three. The long wire goes straight up again. Get another wire, put it together here. Make sure you have about an inch and a half sticking over to the side and take these two and twist. One, two, three. Put the long wire straight up, get another wire and twist again. One, two, three. That one goes straight up. Get this one. Twist again. One, two, three. The long wire straight up. Take another wire. Stack them together. One, two, three. So you see a lot of these are way too long. I haven't quite figured out the length of the wires yet, but this gives you an idea. We'll just adjust the wires. If there are any that are wobbly like that, you can just take it and wind it underneath one of those other wires. And then we want one of the longer ones sticking straight up. So we'll put on the six millimeter miracle bead and we just want to wind it around a few times. You could do two or three times and then we want this one to go on that side and that one to kind of go on that side. These wires ended up being way too long so we can just go ahead and trim these and the same on this side. You can measure them or you can eyeball them. For the next color I have this pretty purple. It's 24 gauge so 24 or 22 is good. We want to wrap it around the bead as well. I'll just wind the end around. Just wind it a couple of times to secure it in place. Give it a little trim and we'll just very loosely wind it around. Don't worry if it's a little crooked. You just want it to add a little bit more color around the bead. So just maybe three times and then this part you can wind around and give it a trim. And now we're going to get some copper color. Same thing. We're just going to first attach the wire in place. Wind it around a couple of times. Clip it and then we're going to wind it around loosely around here. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. So bring it around two or three times and then we can wind it around here to secure it. Could be even over and under one of those wires. If you want to add more color you can even wind it down the middle of the feather. I did that in the sample on the live stream. So now we'll trim it and now we just have these ends that we want to form around the feather. I've got two on this side for some reason so I'm going to bring this one back over to this side and just bring this up. Don't worry too much about if they're the perfect size. 
This is very whimsical. This one we want to kind of come up in a bit of a teardrop like that and like that. And then these ones we're just going to, with our finger, just form them around, make little waves and just work your way down. You can make little loops on the end, like in this one, or you can leave them straight like that. So if you do want to do the loops, you're just going to take your round pliers and bring them around like that. So just hold the end, flick of the wrist, bend it down at the top too. Just gives it a little bit of interest. You could even put little beads at the ends as well. So we're gonna work our way around and make all the loops. Once you've done all the loops, you can go ahead and just arrange these how you like. Some can be overlapping if you want, or you can make them all separate. We just wanna make a smooth little arching curve for the feather. And then for this end, we're just gonna like make sure it's twisted around nice and solid. You can take your pliers and do it a little bit more if you need. And then we can just cut them flush at the end and you can file that end if you need. Just curve it around. Try to give the lines of your feathers a little bit of variety. And there you have your beautiful feather that you can turn into a sun catcher, an ornament, or you could even make it smaller for a pendant or earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.